Welcome to the Auslink Mobile Inventory Counting Demonstration. During this demonstration, I'll show you how to use a wireless scanner device to do a physical inventory count within your warehouse. To begin, we use a save search capability in NetSuite to create what we term a job. A job is really a list of items or bins that need to be counted. From the mobile device, I can select the cycle count button, enter my user ID, and this will show me a list of available jobs or groups of items that need to be counted. So I've got one job here, I click continue, and now the mobile device is going to tell me which bins within the warehouse to go to in order to count the items that are assigned to my particular job. Here we have two bins that we're supposed to count. So I'll click count bin. This will tell me the first bin that I'm supposed to go to is bin A12. I can go ahead and start scanning my item. Let's say we only found two of this item in this particular bin. Now it's going to look at my job and see are there other bins that I'm supposed to count. And again, I click the count bin button. It's going to direct me to the appropriate bin location. I can again start scanning the items that are physically in my bin location. When I've scanned everything that's in the bin, I click the finish bin button. Now Auslink's going to go ahead and submit the count to the Auslink mobile management console. Within this management console, I can take a look at what items are counted and what any discrepancies are amongst those counts. If I click the finalize button, and here we'll see the inventory counting jobs that have been completed by the mobile devices. And if I click print, you'll see the option to look at any discrepancies uh, in an item detailed report, an item summary report, or a bin detailed report. Once we've analyze the inventory count. We also have the option from Auslink Mobile to automatically adjust the inventory within your NetSuite account. For more information on Auslink Mobile, please visit ausdevelopment.com.